say, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago I had wispy bangs. My intrusive thoughts are getting to me right now and I kind of want them back. So come with me to cut my hair and potentially fuck it up. I'm gonna do very small sections because you can always cut more hair off. Unfortunately, you cannot put it back. This feels like too much, even though it's like four strands of hair. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> you know what? We don't have time to be a baby. I'm gonna cut it short first. Oh, <laughs> I already like it. It's not even short enough, but it's cute. I almost forgot to film myself cutting more. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. That might have been a little short. <laughs> no way, actually, I'm crying. It's not that bad, right? <laughs> okay, I think I'm just dramatic. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Honestly, I should have left them long. The next video is gonna be me selling this hair on eBay so that I can buy a wig to cover this. Please be a long time. I really wanna stare at Josh in fourth period. What? What am I supposed to do if I can't see the whole day? Hey, what do you think of this shirt I'm wearing? Uh, nothing, since I only got four minutes to see today. Um, Bailey, I'm to your right. Oh. Am I gonna have to drive to school today? No, bitch, I'll drive. You can't see. Right. <laughs> um, you're in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You're not even looking at me. Shouldn't you check before you sit down? I literally can't see anything. Well then, feel around or something, I don't know. Damn. Don't worry, Stacy. this'll teach her. Who did that? Y'all are assholes. She did not deserve that. Thank you. I'm over here. Sorry. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, you're really beautiful. Hey, Mommy. Can I ride the bus to school with my friends? No, honey, I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom. Can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Hey, Mom. There's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry. You can't go. Okay. Hey, Mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey, girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can't. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at 7. I'll follow you into the park Through the jungle, through the dark Girl, I've never loved one like you Boats and boats and waterfalls Alleyways and payphone calls I've been everywhere with you That's true We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing new is sweeter than I'm with you And in the streets you're running free Like it's only you Jeez, you're something to see Oh, honey, let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you Oh, honey, let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment, do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey babe, I think we should break up. 
Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No. Honey, do you want some breakfast? No. But it's your favorite chocolate chip pancakes. No. Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a day to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. Hey, is this biology? Uh, yeah, it is. Then why is nobody else in here? Oh, someone stabbed the teacher and nobody really comes to class anyways. Okay. Do you want to take a sip of this? What is it? Uh, it's red wine and a bunch of stuff I found in my dad's closet. It's 8 a.m. on a Wednesday. When you guys talk, I see rainbows coming out of your mouth like a unicorn. I think we need to call the nurse. We don't have a nurse anymore. She got scared and quit. What kind of school doesn't have a nurse? Don't look now, but it's Nate Jacobs. Him and Maddie are fighting again. That kid's in high school. He looks like he's 27. That girl is not wearing clothes. Do you guys even have like a dress code? Nah, last time they enforced that, a teacher got bitten. Mm. Do you want a hit of this? Are you smoking inside? <sighs> yeah. Do you want some or not? I'm good, thank you. You guys have probably figured out by now, I am obsessed with music, it brings me to life. Which is why you can join me live on Tidal on April 4th using their new live session feature. You can listen to my top 10 tracks that prove romance is dead. I cannot wait to share these with you all, so make sure you join the live session. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks, so I've been meaning to ask. Since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But mom, Enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know. I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? Uh, of course they can. It's not just you. Well, then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work. I have to get going. See you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic, but... Ah! Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? I was running away from some bad people and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you. Hey, whoa, are you okay? No, dude, he broke up with me over the phone. I am so sorry. He does not deserve you. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking selfies. But you were just sobbing like three minutes ago. Nah, I'm over it. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago I had wispy bangs. My intrusive thoughts are getting to me right now and I kind of want them back. So come with me to cut my hair and potentially fuck it up. I'm gonna do very small sections because you can always cut more hair off. Unfortunately, you cannot put it back. This feels like too much, even though it's like four strands of hair. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> you know what? We don't have time to be a baby. I'm gonna cut it short first. Oh, <laughs> I already like it. It's not even short enough, but it's cute. I almost forgot to film myself cutting more. Okay, I hope that wasn't too much. That might have been a little short. <laughs> no way, actually, I'm crying. It's not that bad, right? Okay, I think I'm just dramatic. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Honestly, I should have left them long. The next video is gonna be me selling this hair on eBay so that I can buy a wig to cover this. Please be a long time. I really wanna stare at Josh in fourth period. What? What am I supposed to do if I can't see the whole day? Hey, what do you think of this shirt I'm wearing? Uh, nothing, since I only got four minutes to see today. Um, Bailey, I'm to your right. Oh. Am I gonna have to drive to school today? No, bitch, I'll drive. You can't see. Right. <laughs> um, you're in my seat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. You're not even looking at me. 
Shouldn't you check before you sit down? I literally can't see anything. Well, then feel around or something. I don't know. Damn. Don't worry, Stacy. This will teach her. Who did that? Y'all are assholes. She did not deserve that. Thank you. I'm over here. Sorry. Oh, wow. <clears throat> uh, you're really beautiful. Here you go. Happy birthday. A poppet, really? How old do you guys think I am? Six? Stop complaining. You're lucky you got something. Thanks, guys, for my new bike. It's not even her birthday. So what? It doesn't matter. Don't be so spoiled. Yeah. This sucks. Congratulations, you completed the pink row. Power unlocked. I think I've officially lost it. Uh, I want my water bottle, but it's so far away. What? So this is real, and I actually have telekinesis? Hmm. Hey, loser, come watch me play with my toy. Okay. Look, it's flying! <gasps> oh, no! Let's see what power the second row will give me. You have completed the second pink row. New power unlocked. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Jeez, do you knock? Mom wants you to wash the dog, weirdo. <laughs> okay, little bud, it's time for a bath. No, no, absolutely not. I will not take a bath. Yeah, this is gonna take some getting used to. I'm sorry, Fluffy, but I got to. You, you really smell. Said you. See, now don't you feel so much better? No. But I do now. Hey, go check on your pet. Okay. Guys, guys, wake up. Tell your dumb cat that baths are not good. Yes, they are. Look, I'll even prove it to you. No, Chubbs, wait. Let's hope this next power is better than last time. You have completed the yellow row. New power unlocked. No, that's what I'm talking about. Can I have that? No. Aw, oh, come on. Just give it to me. Let go. What the? You're not the boss of me. Really? Okay. Go get me an iced tea. Right now. Okay. Why, thank you. <laughs> what? Why did I do that? Cuz I'm the boss. Honey, take out the trash. Um, no. Tell Dad to do it. Bob, take out the trash. Ugh. Watch it, klutz. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't have done that. Oh, really? Why not? Do you ever hear of the saying, what goes around comes around? What is she talking about? Why don't you show us your dancing? What? I can't dance. Oh, no, you're just being modest. Dance. <laughs> Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today, we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Andrina. Okay, true or false? A mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I gonna grow a tail too? Yes, eventually. 
I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrena. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrena, this is- Come on, make me something good. A penguin and a backpack? No freaking way, I love this. I got a magic wallet that gives me money. That is so cool. I know, right? What'd you get? I got a penguin backpack, but I don't really know what it does yet. I'm gonna go get some food. See you. Okay, bye. Man, I really wish I had some water. Whoa, is it just me or did this thing get heavier? No way, there is like a bunch of waters in here. This backpack must grant wishes. Okay, let's just test this again. I wish for $100 in 20s. This is amazing. I'm home. I wish for some headphones. Hey sis, what's this? Aren't you kind of old to have a stuffed animal backpack? Give it back. Wait a minute, what's inside of here? Hey, how'd you get all this money? Did you steal this money? No, it was my magic gift. It grants me wishes. Yeah, right. Prove it. All right. I wish for a necklace. Nothing happened. I must have to be holding on to it for it to work. Nice try. I know you're stealing money. You probably think you're so cool, but you're not. Ugh. Oh, yeah? How about now, Benson? That's it. Where are you? I wish to be at a friend's house. I really hope you can do that. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Oh, hey, Chad. Uh, how, how'd you get in here? Uh, your back door was open. Sweet. I was wondering if you wanted to come to prom with me. Yeah. I gotta check on something. Be right back. Okay. He asked me to prom, but I don't even have a dress. Wait. I wish for a red dress that's kind of fitted, but not too fitted. You know what I mean, Penguin. Just work your magic. Oh my gosh, yes, this is perfect. I should also wish for some accessories and- Hey, there's some cops in the front of my house and they say they're- Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny. Yay. And one for you, Olivia. Thank you, mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is- No one. <laughs> <laughs> There has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter... She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... Uh, <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... She pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. Skip school or stay home? My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up mom, thank you. 
Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jay? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey, girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh, my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper. What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. Shut up. You went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled, and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Um, uh, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking per- Your test scores are in. Your intelligence level will now appear above your head. What does mine say? You got a six. Yes. Wait, what does mine say? You got a two. What? I have been refreshing Instagram for the past five minutes. Why will nothing load? That's because I unplugged the internet. You need to read more. Mom, reading isn't going to make my number go up. You listen to me. You're an embarrassment to this whole family. So you get that number up by the end of the month or you're out of here. Crystal, what is up with you? Here, take this, okay? What is this? It stimulates the neurons in your brain, which causes a chemical reaction, which allows you to process information. At a okay, second. hold on. English, please. Look, basically it makes you super smart. This is a prank, isn't it? Look, I know I'm not that smart, but I'm also not that dumb either, so... Crystal, I made my intelligence level go up. See? Wait, how did you do that? I'm telling you, it's the pill. Look, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but just take it. Jamie, wait. I have to go. Hey, they're handing out graduation gowns right now. I don't think she's gonna need one of those, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I swear this pill better freaking work. Crystal? Crystal? Are you still with us? <laughs> What's the answer to number two? 
Well, it's simple math, really. You take the numerator, divide it by the denominator, multiply that times 2, which will give you 81, of course, and then you take the square root, which will give you 9. How'd she do that? What the hell? Correct, but Crystal, what? your number went up. How'd you solve that equation so fast? That was a warm-up question. Any fifth grader could have solved it. Really? Because you seem pretty impressed by it. Yeah, only because you were so dumb before. How did you make your intelligence level go up, though? You don't like me, do you? Uh, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, but why is that? I mean, we were such good friends until high school. It's because of Jamie, isn't it? She intimidates you? She does not! She does. Which explains why you never make direct eye contact with her. You feel like she replaced you as my best friend. You a psychologist all of a sudden? Come on, Viv, let's go. And you two are dating now, aren't you? What? How do you know? The way that he's protective over you, it indicates that he cares about your feelings. And you two also smell very similar, which tells me that you're probably... Watch it, Crystal. Mind your own business. How the hell did I know all that? Guess who got an A on every test today? Mom? Guess she's not home yet. Ugh. Ow. Uh, hello. Hey, there's something I have to tell you about the pills. Is it that they have side effects? Because I think I'm feeling them right now. Oh no. Um, just... Uh, just hang on. I'll be right there. Okay. Uh. Help. Oh my gosh. Crystal, here. You have to take this. Are you feeling alright now? Yeah, much better. Good. But about the pills... If you stop taking them, you... You what? You... You die. Jamie, are you kidding me right now? How could you not tell me about this? I... I didn't find out until yesterday. Where are those pills from? I'm gonna be in so much trouble. They're from a lab that my sister works at. I sort of stole them. This is 30 days worth. So about a month. Jamie, what happens when these run out? Uh... Everybody always told me to pick 80 years, but I want to know what happens. Morning, Mom. Honey, why did you pick 10 hours? I don't want to lose you. You don't know for sure that's going to happen. I want to know. I'm going to school. Bye, Mom. Hi, Mr. Fitz. Giselle, you only have nine hours left. I just want to say it was a pleasure having you in my class. You were a great student. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, looks like somebody's dying tonight. How about you mind your own business for once, Jessica? At least I don't have to worry about bullying you anymore. Hey, um, do you know anything about this time, yeah? You only have six hours left. You should have picked to the 80 like everybody told you to. What if I'm really gonna die? What if I'm really gonna die? Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm not dead? Hey, Mom, look, I didn't die. Yes, honey, but there's a three on your face. What do you mean there's a three on my face? Here, look. I wonder what that means. Whatever. I'm going to school. Good morning, Mr. Fitz. Oh my gosh, Giselle, you're not dead. And there's yeah, a... I know. There's a three on my face. I don't know what it means either. Okay then, just take a seat. Well, well, well. Look who's alive after all. Jessica, don't start. I actually want to apologize for bullying you. Here, please take this. Thank you. I don't feel so... Hey mom, my nose is bleeding. Could you please pass me a tissue? Here you go, honey. Thank you. Mom, my blood. It's blue. It's blue? Get out of my house. But mom, I... No buts. You're one of them. Hey girl, my mom just kicked me out. Can I please come crash at your place? Yeah, sure. Come right over. Thanks. Thanks so much for letting me stay here. What's wrong with your nose? Oh, it's just a nosebleed. Let me see. You freak, leave immediately. You better stay away from me. What's happening? I have to get to the bottom of this. Hey, doctor. What seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? You have to come with me. You're a... Hey, doctor. 
and what seems to be the problem. My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? We have to go. You're a... I'm a what? It's not safe here. I'll tell you somewhere else. Come with me. Where are we going? And why is it getting worse? Because you're transforming. Transforming into what? Look, it's a blue blood. What do we do? Run as fast as you can. Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Yes. How's that even possible? I'll explain later. Come with me. First things first, cover up all the blue with this. Why do I have to cover it up? Because if you don't, people will come looking for you. What happens if they find us? They'll kill us. Now go do as I say. I covered it up. Good. Now go out and pretend as if you know nothing. Excuse me, miss. We're looking for the blue bloods. Have you seen one? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Your nose. Stay right where you are. Don't try to run. Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla! She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. Dude, her daughter's kinda hot too. I'm just in this for the money though. Shit, you scared me! Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on! Mom, your boyfriend is a- Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades, I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes! Oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need... I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret. And one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just gonna magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm gonna use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes! <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that! I warned you! Come here! Your plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are gonna get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart. Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite all right, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiancé, Blake, is a psychotic little gold digger. Babe, I thought she was sick. No, Mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! 
You give that back, you little- I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Ugh. And that's for taking my speaking time. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I... And let me guess, this one has a great personality. You have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry, I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who... Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I... Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He's trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Oh. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey... Will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss.
Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm gonna rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a seven out of 10. Day two, oh. I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you could never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Everyone and their mother is freaking out over this bold glam filter, so we're gonna try to recreate it. Jump scare! I have some things, so let's do it. Going in with a blurring primer because I did not have a single pore with that filter on. In case any of my pores are left, I'm gonna use a blurring BB cream too. This concealer is literally white because we wanna lift and snatch the face. I am built like an egg, but this filter gave me cheekbones. I want a little baby button nose. I was about to use this. What happened? <laughs> Did anyone else go follow Selena Gomez after all the drama? My brows are already dark, but this filter made them even darker. That's definitely aggressive. Why do I look like a who? Shine bright like a diamond. I really don't want to do this, but it's time to overline my lips. I already have lip filler, so this is a lot. It's giving fish from fishtails. Spot the difference. Okay, final reveal. This is me with the filter on, and here is me with the filter off. It looks even crazier because I already have a full face of makeup on. How do you guys think I did? Let me know in the comments. There are so many different kinds of people that go to Coachella. First, you got the people who somehow have everything in their bag. Oh, I think my foundation's messed up. Oh, your makeup's coming off? I have a mirror. We got oil wipes. I have liquid IV in case you're thirsty, a lip gloss. I also have a fan and some hair clips. Then you got the people who will take any opportunity they get to take a photo. Could you take a photo of me right now? The light is so good. Yeah, I guess. Slay, get it. Okay, were those cute? Um, sure. Okay, let's go over there and take some more too. Then you also have that friend who kind of can't hang but will rally for their favorite artist. Are you sure you're okay? We don't have to stay. Yeah, I'm fine. I have to watch Blink-182. You are incredibly determined. What kind of person would you be at Coachella? Get ready with me as I tell you guys about the time I had a stalker. When I first moved to LA, I lived in an apartment complex that had a gym with it. But then I moved to somewhere that had no amenities at all, so I had to go and get a different gym membership. Since my rent had gone up, I was like, um, bitch, I'm gonna save some money and go to Planet Fitness. Key piece of information, this was not in the best area at all. Everything had been totally fine, no weird experiences, until this one day I smiled at a dude in the parking lot and then he left a note on my windshield. I was just trying to be friendly because he was getting out of the car right next to me, but oops. the note basically said, you're cute, call me, and I kind of laughed at it and never did because it's weird. Fast forward two months, I had gotten a new car and it was like 9 p.m. I come out of the gym and there is a sticky note pasted right above my door handle. This is what the note said. Mm. Obviously someone was butthurt that I didn't text them. This man knew what my old car looked like, now knew what my new car looked like, and knew what time I went to the gym. I went back the next day and canceled it immediately, but they couldn't do anything about it. Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm gonna rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a seven out of 10. Day two, oh. I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you could never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Everyone and their mother is freaking out over this bold glam filter, so we're gonna try to recreate it. Jump scare! I have some things, so let's do it. Going in with a blurring primer because I did not have a single pore with that filter on. In case any of my pores are left, I'm gonna use a blurring BB cream too. This concealer is literally white because we wanna lift and snatch the face. I am built like an egg, but this filter gave me cheekbones. I want a little baby button nose. 
I was about to use this. What happened? <laughs> Did anyone else go follow Selena Gomez after all the drama? My brows are already dark, but this filter made them even darker. That's definitely aggressive. Why do I look like a who? Shine bright like a diamond. I really don't want to do this, but it's time to overline my lips. I already have lip filler, so this is a lot. It's giving fish from fishtails. Spot the difference. Okay, final reveal. This is me with the filter on, and here is me with the filter off. It looks even crazier because I already have a full face of makeup on. How do you guys think I did? Let me know in the comments. There are so many different kinds of people that go to Coachella. First, you got the people who somehow have everything in their bag. Oh, I think my foundation's messed up. Oh, your makeup's coming off. I have a mirror. We got oil wipes. I have liquid IV in case you're thirsty, a lip gloss. I also have a fan and some hair clips. Then you got the people who will take any opportunity they get to take a photo. Could you take a photo of me right now? The light is so good. Yeah, I guess. Slay, get it. Okay, were those cute? Um, sure. Okay, let's go over there and take some more too. Then you also have that friend who kind of can't hang but will rally for their favorite artist. Are you sure you're okay? We don't have to stay. Yeah, I'm fine. I have to watch Blink-182. You are incredibly determined. What kind of person would you be at Coachella? Again, 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 again. Stop playing. Gummy. Playing is against the law. You're lucky no one saw you, or else you would have been killed. Catch. Let's play. We're not allowed. We'll get killed. That's only if they see us. No one's around. Okay. Catch. Catch. <laughs> Catch. Catch. Were you girls playing? No, I wasn't. It was just her throwing the ball. I wasn't playing. No, she was playing too. No, I wasn't. No, puppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? No, puppy, you're not allowed to play. No playing. Why do you have a ball? Were you playing? I wasn't playing. I was just teaching the puppy not to play. Good work, kid. I'll kill the dog. No! Brianna, we're all gonna hang out after school. Are you coming? A hangout? Are you crazy? Relax. We're all just gonna talk and study. There's gonna be no games or playing. Okay. Hey, we should all play spin the bottle. No! I thought we were just going to study. We're not allowed to play. What are you scared? Are you a chicken? No, I just don't want to die. All right, I'll go first. I can't believe you're actually doing this. Look at that, the bottle landed on you. That is not happening. Were you playing a game? No, I wasn't, it was Brianna's idea. Beach. What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day and you must use all of them or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day is almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words too. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, what's wrong? I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. Understand. I only had 55 words, now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no, you can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? Keep on trying to talk. The day is not over yet. I can't. 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 I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Okay. Someone's calling on the telephone. Hurry up and answer it. 
They're going to give you a word and you must pass it on to the next person. The first person who says the word incorrectly dies. Your word is cookie. Huh? Say that again? They only tell you the word once. Now hurry, pass it on to me. Cookie. Come here, Timmy. Cookie. I know the word. It's Wookie. Timmy! Hey, Brianna, can you come here for a second? Okay. Get in. I'm sorry. I got chosen to play telephone. Hey, Stephanie. What's up? I have to pass on a word to you. Get in. That's an easy word. Kevin, come here. Britain. No! <laughs> oh, no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Onomatopoeia. Huh? Oh, no. What's wrong? I'm getting a call. Your word? Huh? Brianna, hurry, pass on the word. This word is really hard. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. Pass on your word. No. Come on, Brianna, it can't be that bad. What? What did you say? Is that even a word? I know it's a hard word, Bessie, but you have to try your best. I don't want to lose you. Kevin, come here. What the? Jake, come here. Auto, modu, P, U. No, Kevin. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Are you serious? Why am I the one always getting calls? Brianna, you need to answer it. No, this isn't fair. Hurry. Answer now or die. Your word? Anti disestablishmentarianism. Anti. Anti dis. dis. disestablishment. Pass on your word. Give me a minute! Brianna, hurry, pass the word on to me. I can't, it's too hard. Teacher? Teacher, I have to pass a word on to you. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Easy word. You know I'm an English teacher, right? Jake, come here. Anti-disestablishment. <laughs> I'm getting a call. What the? Where am I? Am I dead? You're not dead. You're an afterlife sorter. Afterlife sorter? Who decided this? Jesus. <laughs> My childhood dog biscuit. You are such a good boy. Wow, you look good. Jason, remember when you cheated on me with like 10 different girls? That was a long time ago. I'm a changed man. Go to hell. No! Hey, girl! Bestie, what are you doing here? I was dancing on top of a building and then I tripped. Classic bestie. Ooh, 70%. What? Nothing. Go to heaven, girl. Huh? Myself? Well... Obviously. Obviously. Why is it not working? Baby, they're watching. Hurry up. Smile. Baby, smile. We've got a code red. Okay, okay, I'm smiling. I'm smiling. Your smile's looking a little low today. Yeah, it is. We're going to have to use the clothing pins again. You need a much wider smile than that. Hey, Bree. Hey, Bestie, your smile's looking a little low. Here, try these clothing pins. It's a trick my mom taught me. You put it right here. What's even the point anymore? Bestie, you need to smile. I can't lose you, too. We've got a code red. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. I'm smiling. I'm smiling. We'll let you off with a warning. A warning? They never got a warning. My boyfriend, my best friend, my five-year-old sister. Your mother would be very upset you're acting this way. My mother? Yeah, the creator of the smiling law. She told us to show no mercy to her children, but I figured she'd be upset if both her daughters were gone. Mother. Where's your smile? You're the creator of the smiling law. Is that a problem, honey? Think of all the people that died because of you. Little sister? 
She was only five years old. And she didn't obey the law, and neither did you. Where are the police? You're a monster. Looks like I'm going to have to get rid of you myself. Come on, honey. You've already lost everyone. You really want to lose your mother, too? You're the only one I wanted to lose.